Yeah, Stephen has just brought us some milk home from work. It's amazing how much milk we actually get for it. We've got definitely need a cow for the garden. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. everyone welcome to today's vlog welcome to a hot sticky monday <laughs> yep today's gonna be the hottest day of the year they reckon here in the uk so if you're out and about make sure you take care keep safe obviously remember to drink plenty plenty of fluid and also to um wear your sun cream and stuff like that yeah but definitely keep an arm bend because obviously all the medication is on one of the side effects for ben is obviously um, dehydration if you get dehydrated really quickly so it's like this you need to make sure it's got pain to drink and that sort of thing but then no problem it is it comes out the other end so you, you can't win either way but yeah like i said we're not going out or nothing like that today we're just going and staying at home taking it easy but like i said the kids are taking it easy they're actually watching animal park on bbc one at the minute where i've got a whole load of washing to go out i've washed it all it's just um yeah it needs to go out so as i've said make the most of it while it's like this it will definitely dry also got a load to do as well so we did mention about could i change this sheet he wants his london duvet back on his bed so I'll probably do that again we've we've changed hours the other day so again i might even change beds and put his toy story duvet back on for him as well yeah because you know it's like this time of year it's hot or sweaty sticky and gungy and just plain old horrible basically so but anyway yeah so like i said the kids are happy i got to do that also plans for today is obviously the builder cup is coming out soon but later on talk through a couple of options with us again um the quotes we've been getting for ben's side extension are way 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 less more than what um the dfg grant has given us so yeah we have set up a go from me page so if you want to donate or uh, leave it in the description box below and stuff like that so yeah um there's people so probably say oh yeah the dfg grant is enough to cover a wet room it probably is if you've got the room or you just want to put added bits in it is enough but with obviously with, with us with ben obviously he needs one building so that doesn't help building costs have gone sky high so yeah we're gonna see if what um, we've got because obviously we have been gifted some wonderful things for Ben's wet room and we're hoping that and with what the DFG grant will be enough to do the wet room alone and do like the safe space bedroom stroke utility room for him in the future when we can afford it the main important part is obviously is Ben's wet room and then that way and obviously it's changing best we have got to keep changing him laying on the floor and all that sort of thing because one of these days we are really scared we're gonna do our back and we're having to change them like that so yeah then like I said we just have to see what he says and then just go from there then basically like I said it is up below if you want to do that there's no obligation or nothing like that so but yeah like I said and then yeah that's it then plans for day well so we do need to go get Ben's medication at some point I've still tomorrow and um, it all depends on how long the build is going to be as well so but yeah um that's again and just come and join us for for Monday yeah, washes out, which is good because I know that it will dry. It's kind of a bit cloudy. It's also it's cloudy, a little bit cloudy here and stuff like that. They did forecast some thundery showers and stuff, but they hit and miss. So um, just have to keep an eye on the washing. But at the minute, it's absolutely fine. So I hope, fingers crossed, that it dries for its unders. Yeah, normally Ben will sit out here sometimes, but again, it's a little bit too hot for him. Like I said, he's, I think he knows as well. So yeah, me and Stephen sat out here about eight o'clock past eight last night. And it was nice. It was a really nice cool temperature. And if I said you could just hear a pin drop as well, which is really good. So we'll probably do it a bit later on. So yeah, um, I'm not going to force Ben out on his trampoline. It's just too hot. But saying that though, he is shaded a little bit down there as well, which is 
which is good anyway. So, and I was just looking at my strawberry plants. I think that might be it now for this share. There doesn't seem to be any more growing on here whatsoever. But yeah, we've had a real good juicy bumper crop of them this year. It was just amazing how many we got. It's weird because that one goes the bigger ones. And they've got, well, they were nice, but these ones are smaller and these ones are more juicier as well. So I don't know if it's they're a different type of strawberry plant, I do not know, but all I know is they've just buying strawberries from the supermarket. So yeah, I don't know if we can still buy English strawberries around or not, do not know, but yeah, if they grow any more strawberries, so be it. But if not, um, and, and then so be it. Yeah, so like I said, we've had a nice thing. I will continue to water them anyway as well, just in case we do get any more, but. Again, then what I do is in the winter, in the autumn, winter, obviously take off all the dead shoots and then get ready then for the spring as well. So yeah, I'm glad that actually I kept them in the pots rather than put them in the ground because if I grew them in the ground now they're growing crazy. And then we did have some down the bottom of the garden down here and they actually got kept the fresh the frost actually had them as well and they actually killed them. They were down here somewhere. As well but obviously like I said that side of the garden is going to be out of action soon so yeah we're not going to even attempt to do that garden as well seems they'll probably end up cutting the grass a bit down in that would be about it so but yeah just going to go back in and come back out here when it's a little bit cooler look at the mess on the living room floor eh yeah the mess is like you piled up all up here haven't you like you blocked the Alexa over here like I said he's been laying here playing with his lights and grabbing his see he's been playing with his sensory scent he's got his toys off of there he's been playing with that haven't he but yeah she's she clearing them all up because yeah, the sim could easily trip over them couldn't they are you messy aren't you are you messy you've been playing with your that's the thing you do don't you you play with your toys for a minute and then find don't want that i'm find something else out of this toy box so yeah what i'm going to do is put all of his sensory toys back on there for him again and he'll like i said as soon as I put back on the other end up playing with them again, so it's definitely not easier. I like this thing actually, got this in the box for Christmas. It's one of those ones where you can, it's like it's definitely like it is, obviously, like there is a fidget, but you can actually do like you move it set four different ways and stuff. And then I think it even makes a big long line or something like that. I know Ben loves playing with that, yeah, like a big little square, and yeah, it's one of his favourite toys at the minute. Aren't you, Ben Jay? Thomas, he belongs upstairs. James belongs upstairs, doesn't he? In your room, you keep take, you keep bringing toys down from upstairs, and you keep taking toys upstairs. Yeah, me what? Me what? Me what? Eh? Me what? Yeah. What do you mean? They're mine? Was that your way of saying mine? I know they're yours, aren't they? But we're just gonna give you a good old tidy. That's it. Put them all up there so no one else falls over. Oh, when we sorted out um, Ben's toys, we actually. Ben, I'm just going to throw this one away. You break this one again. I've got this from Timmy for him for Christmas and he keeps breaking it. So, yeah, go that one again. Right, right, it's I, it's I know! You know what it is next week? What, what, is, what is it next week? Daddy's birthday. Daddy's birthday next Monday, isn't it? So, but anyway, yeah. Um, as I was saying, also when we found, when I sorted out Ben's toys, we actually found this little sensory type ball thing here, um, which she absolutely loves playing with again. So, again, we have brought in a couple of new toys from the box, and he seemed to enjoy playing with them. Well, in fact, he grabbed them out of the box himself, so. And um, this is the other one. Look how big that one actually goes. It really goes so big. So, anyway, let's put that back in there. Hey, eh? You messy pup, aren't we? Get you some lunch in a minute, yeah? You look all hot and bothered, my sweetheart, don't we? This is why we're not going to let you go outside, are we? You did want to go outside and it's trampling. I said that was just too hot for him. Yeah, Stephen has just brought us some milk home from work. It's amazing how much milk we actually get for him. Because we definitely need a cow for the garden. Anyway, good to be back to work today? Too hot. Too hot. <laughs> Bless him. So, yeah, obviously, like I said, this is Ben's that he ate milk. Um, like I said, yeah, that's definitely helping with his magnesium levels had his blood test results and um, they've come up which is great they're not perfect but they have come up so yeah, I do think having, having the oat milk is definitely helping off so a bit more expensive but again if it helps with his levels and things like that so yeah um, you are? it's not allowed to send dog I'm washing out oh is it okay oh great 
Let's have a look. It doesn't seem, seem to say it's a thundering out here. Is it thundering? Better not be thundering out here, actually. But, yeah, well, yeah, long as... Yeah, I'm giving up with this weather today. Yeah, see, I fetched my washing in because the heavens actually opened, didn't they? Um, we fetched the washing in and we got absolutely soaked. But look, out here now, the sun's out. So yeah, I'm not going to be one of those people. I'm going to put it back in again and keep rushing it all out so it can stay in. I just stick it on the air, I say. But yeah, it is supposed to be thundery showers and stuff like that. But yeah, it's quite funny because at the time I was talking to Becca and I said, oh, look, it's raining. It started to thunder. And then suddenly five minutes later, it rained and thundered over there. And I got accused of sending her the rain, bless her. So yeah, I feel like I had a little FaceTime conversation with her and also saw Amelia as well. Yeah, um, like it's not the same as FaceTime. I mean, as seen her in person or like that. But yeah, she's growing up so quickly. It's just... Amazing how they don't say babies for long, isn't it? There you go. What? Where's the plane? I c oh, yeah. Um, not so little. The plane's here, so I said so little compared to what we saw yesterday, aren't they? But it's nice actually. If I turn you back around, you are. It does really good. Yeah, it's like I said up here, you can't see any now normally because we got two little airfields near us. They have like the little what said they were like two, three man um, planes. Well, the nearest where we are, the little glider planes we see. Oh, well, no, they're just the little, like... Little tiny ones, aren't they? Little tiny ones. Little tiny ones. Normally, you can actually see them up here as well. And sometimes, when the weather's nice, over there, they've got, like, a little, um airfield where they jump out of they do like all the parachute jumps and stuff sometimes you can actually see them the planes going up being towed you can actually see them jump in when there's only certain times they have to do those so isn't there so but yeah um like i said clouds building so but anyway like i said yeah i'm just going to sit these on the air i'm not going to bother putting them back in again like they're practically dry anyway so like i said i'll on the air and probably later on tonight they'll be they'll be dry anyway so so I actually got this for my birthday and haven't actually done it yet. I just I was just finding the time to do things to make the world a little brighter. So how do I make this? What do I need? What do I need? Right, empty the cake mix into the mug. Okay, let's get a pair of scissors. Okay. So I can do this one handed. So I've got the tripod. So if I, if I cut that in there. That'd be easy. If I do it that way, I'm going to go into the mug without screwing it. Yeah. All of it. Here's all of it's in there, look. Yeah. Yeah. Put uh, one egg. Well. Hold the camera for you. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I got a bit of shell in there. Hang on. Mm. Let me get my spoon. I've got a bit of shell in there. Um, where's my spoon? Where's my spoon? Okay. I'm going to make a mess, can you? Okay, there you go. Yeah, what do I need to do now? Yeah, let me hold the blooming camera. You hold the camera for me, that'd be easier. Yeah, that's what I need to do out You now. want a tablespoon, a tablespoon of vegetable oil and a tablespoon of milk. Tablespoon of vegetable oil. Yeah. Mm. 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 Here, do you hear Ben? Just said mum. Okay, tablespoon of vegetable oil. A tablespoon of milk. A tablespoon of milk, that's what I need. Yep. Okay, yeah. Mix it, mix, it. mix it together. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. And what do I do now with it? Goes on what? Just mix it. Oh, yeah, mix it together. Just like it's enough. There we go, yeah. And then stick it in the microwave for two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah. Quite cold, isn't it? That's mm. what it tastes like. Have a look. Mmm. That's 
tried to put bed actually. It's been in my corner for two minutes. Done it. Yep, yep. Okay. Okay, two minutes. Oh, that was quite nice, eh? There we go, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Two minutes in the microwave. Let's come out like this. Alexa Scott! And obviously then you just have to time it for a minute, um, leave it for a minute, it's ready to eat. So yeah, um, that's going to be my cooking later on. Well, I've got some chocolate um, stuff in my cupboard in there. So put a bit of that on the top, a little bit of scrape cream. And there you go. And it's like, yeah. I put in for later. Well, as she found, brings Monday to an end once again. Brings the end of a very, very warm day. Just dreading what the night's going to be like. I hate it when it gets too warm. That's, that's the only thing. You want the nice weather, but you don't want the horrible sticky nights. That's the problem. Oh, darling, look what's on the garden fence. What? Mr. Magpie. <laughs> look. Where? Can you see him? Oh, down there. Down there, yeah. Like I said to him, there's a pair of them um, yeah. that live around here somewhere. So yeah, I know, it's so to come off of it. I know bad people say about magpies and things like that, but I'd rather look at a magpie than a pigeon, wouldn't you? <laughs> no, I just think they've got some really nice colours on them, the magpies. Yeah, we um, waited in for our builder this afternoon. Oh. It didn't turn up, so it wasn't very good. So not a, nice, not a good start at all, is it? No. No. So the thing is, um, I know this builder needs, we are, we are changed, I know, I know they're quite popular and stuff like that, so, or maybe he just got to put it in his diary, you know what I mean? We'll give him a break, but the doubt, but even so, even if he, if he wasn't turned up, a little say sorry message, you know what I mean? Yeah, But, well, well, we'll just have to, I'll just give him a break, there's no doubt, so it happens, there's no doubt, you know? Anyway, like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button, see you next one. Bye everybody. Bye.